hello what's up guys welcome back to a new video and in today's video we're looking into <coughs> a new topic that is uh, the applications of ideal gas equation this is kind of an important topic a short and important topic a uh, topic in which we'll be discussing the real life applications of the ideal gas equation we have uh, done with the ideal gas equation derivation the combined gas equation and all that and uh, if you haven't checked those videos do check them out uh, this is a video about the applications of ideal gas equation so like we do know that ideal gas equation is this pv is equal to nrt right pv is equal to nrt this is simply the ideal gas equations and by this equation we can find a variety of things first of all very basically if we uh, uh, there's a there's a condition if v r are given values of other c then we can find find values of now what does this mean uh, i'll be elaborating this statement as well so this statement says this that if you are uh, you know if you are given values of other three we have given values of other three then we can find values of we are looking into what values we can find like these are one this is two this is three and this is four and this is five right and uh, over here in this this uh, sorry the number four is constant we have looked into the value of the constant in the previous video so this r is common and if you are given value of this this and this so you can find the value of v if you are given value of p v and n so you can find t so this all works like you you need f you have four values which can be changed and uh, if you are given uh, you have been given values of three of them so you will be easily finding one so let's look into how it works uh, that's a kind of a conceptual simple conceptual thing that i'm telling you right now okay so let me tell you what what sort of things we can find for number one if you uh, you know for suppose uh, value of p first of all value of p value of uh, p right uh, when uh, uh, in this condition when you are finding the value of p sorry in the condition you are finding the value of p uh, values of uh, v and uh, t and n are given always right uh, values of p is uh, you know we need to determine the value of p so the remaining three values will be given and the r value is of course constant that is 0 0.0821 now number two you know this is this is just working simultaneously value value of uh, for suppose you need to find the value of uh, v in this case now so you can find the value of v in that conditions when values of uh, here comes the pressure uh, uh, temperature and uh, and these are given these these uh, bracket values are given now without wasting time i will be writing other two uh, skipping a video okay so i am back i have written uh, the things over here if you're gonna see that uh, if you want to find the value of n the number of moles then uh, you have the given the values of p v and t and this works same with the t so i do hope that you got this concept like uh, the bracket values are always given and you can find the other one now uh, a part of it we can find other things as well other two things even though uh, if you have got into deep studies so you can uh, find with this equation a lot of things but uh, the two major things which are very beneficial uh, uh, you know except the one the four which I mentioned over here are the one including uh, this PV is equal to NRT will give us values of uh, density 
first of all how you will be thinking the density will be coming this density is an important term right and how it would come from this equation the second uh, is uh, um, mass you can find mass mass right and you can also find uh, the you know molecular mass molecular mass right uh, now let me elaborate both of these like uh, for density I am uh, writing it over here for suppose uh, for density what I will be doing is for density uh, let me write the equation over here uh, PV is equal to NRT right so you do know that uh, the value of n the number of moles is equal to uh, given mass upon molecular mass so you can write over here like uh, pv is equal to small m that is a given mass upon capital m the molecular mass or the molar mass rt are the constant and the t now if you're gonna move uh, you know uh, for suppose you're gonna move uh, m on this direction capital M and now it will be like MP and you move V to the opposite side then it will be equal to M over V RT now I do hope that you got it what I am going to do MP is equal to and the mass by unit volume is equal to the density DRT now uh, I, I am assured that you've got this is was the concept uh, so such amazing uh, D is equal to D is equal to now uh, MP over RT MP over RT this is uh, the derivation uh, of you know the density and this was just amazing like we have uh, we can know the density by this equation as well now let's move for uh, the molecular mass this is molecular mass uh, I'm continuing I would be short enough I'm continuing the equation from this now let me move the same equation I'm using this one common I'm using this one over here as well and let me separate the section both both sections now what will happen what modification we do have is uh, in this occasion what modification I would prefer is the M we are having a uh, capital M on the side that is the molecular, uh, molecular mass so we will be moving a P over there so M is equal to uh, M is equal to given mass upon PV RT this was quite simple right now you can write this as m is equal to a molecular mass is equal to molecular mass is equal to mrd mrt or pv right this is also derived and uh, this was also such amazing right this is also drive now we can find another thing as well uh, that is uh, the mass this was a molecular mass but if you're gonna find the given mass so we have also term for that and uh, maybe that is a homework for you to drive out because that is quite simple I'm just looking I'm just making the final equation on my own so the M would be equal to over here in this case M would be equal to small m is equal to M P V mpv upon rt now this is your task to determine how this was derived this is very very simple task and i do hope that you have got it like we have did a uh, amazing discussion today like how with the uh, ideas gas equation we are deriving such sort of things and uh, i do hope that you've learned something and if you did do like the video video guys in the next video till that goodbye